Um, you ever think about wolves, Will? Yeah, I I fancy them. You showed me that video the other day of the dog, the dog uh, jumping all over the horse. Yeah, and attacking the, the horse, attack. and then the person's in the in the um, the carriage. Yeah, and everybody's screaming, and it's really weird scenario the dog just like flips out and like i'm gonna get this horse right now mm. anyway it got me thinking because obviously it's a weird clip not something i expected to watch but you put it in front of me then on my feed the following day i get this uh -oh. i get this article about how wolves used to survive pretty much eating horses oh that that was their main diet up until more recently when they transition to caribou and things like this you had a lot of wild horses yeah so maybe that dog in the video was just like tapping into some primal instinct i'm gonna take that horse down although it made a bad bet in the video we're talking about Ooh. i'm sure you've seen it was viral it made a bad bet you don't want to a horse is a big deal and you best have some buddies with you if you think you're gonna go toe to toe with a horse you best not be solo as a dog or even a single wolf because uh -huh. you take that that back leg to the jaw all you need is just one. Um, gray wolves are among the largest predators that have survived the extinction at the end of the last ice age. They're still kicking it. They're still out there. Anyway, they did this really cool science stuff, Will, where they looked at the uh, teeth of wolves over time, and they were able to tell from the actual wear marks on the teeth exactly, and, and other factors. Uh, they were able to tell specifically what their diet had consisted of oh wow so they went from horses to like they did a they, they actually were able to do take down some of those uh, mammoths as well the woolly mammoth can you imagine that endeavor Oof. now you're gonna have to once again you're gonna have to have a few wolves to approach something like that but they were able to find evidence of such a thing existing as well <laughs> the research team led by museum paleontologist dr danielle frazier and student Zoe Landry analyzed evidence preserved in the teeth and bones from skulls of both ancient 50,000 years ago all the way up to modern gray wolves. Cool. Uh, we can study the change in diet by examining wear patterns on the teeth and chemical traces in their bones. They're doing it actually over at Carleton University. They can tell us everything oh, yeah. about what the animal ate by the scratch marks. The scratch marks. On the teeth. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, apparently, yeah, here we go. This is the analysis. Uh, the modern diet caribou and moose is well established. Um, however, back in the day, horses, which went, went extinct at that around that time, accounted for half of the great wolf diet. And only 15% came from caribou and sheep. A little bit of mammoth mixed in. Hmm. Crazy what you can pull from this. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was reading the comments on this article and others had suggested that this may have something to do with uh, other um, predators having left the scene as well, opening up different opportunities. Huh. For example, uh, you ever heard of saber tooth? Yeah. Is that a cat? You don't want to compete with that. No. It's got a saber tooth. Even if you're a wolf, yeah, you don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that. Anyway, uh, 